A home office is useful in many scenarios. Some students must finish work at home. Some people prefer not to go to an office, hence they require a home office. However, setting up a home office without a spare room is hard. In the video, we will talk about 12 do-it-yourself desks and living room makeover ideas to create a relaxing environment to get your things done. As always, SimpHome curates and presents you with the list. Number 12. A simple yet modern desk idea by Crafted by the Hunts. Follow the cut list to cut the legs and top. Cut top one by twos later. As you continue in a project, your cuts will become more accurate. Next, drill pocket holes. Glue and screw one by sixes to the tabletop. Wipe off any excess glue on the desk and then make the legs. Clamp a spare board to a leg to build leg details and then push the angled piece against the spare board to keep it flush with the leg. Secure the legs using one and a quarter inch screws and cut three boards for the center and outside legs. Number 11. A-frame desk DIY idea from Anika's DIY Life. First, make cutouts. Cut plywood with a circular saw and straight edge guide. Use Craig Rip Cut. It's easy to repeat cuts. Miter saw slice 22 boards. Legs and supports have 10 degree angles. Once the saw is set, all cuts will have the same angle. Build the upper frame. Make plywood drawers with pocket holes. Craig Jig offers a plywood set. Make two drawers out of 13 boards and install slide drawers into the top frame. Next, secure the top with wood glue and 14 inch finish nails. Number 10. A stylish desk with IKEA Alex drawers. Another fantastic and easy home office concept. It's like the last. Instead of higher cabinets, support the tabletop with IKEA Alex drawers. A tabletop has many options, however, it's pricey, unfortunately. Instead, use two 4x8 pieces of sand plywood with a birch or maple finish. To make a tabletop, glue boards together. Consider screwing them in so they won't slip. Then set the desktop on top of the Alex drawers. Number 9. A built-in desk idea with a high-end look. To make this built-in workspace, you have to install vertical paneling for the base. Then you'll need two IKEA Billy bookcases. Before putting the bookcases in place, screw three 1x4s into studs on each sidewall around the top, middle, and bottom. These pieces will help you hold the bookcases. After that, shove them into each corner to stay flush with the protruding walls. Next, place IKEA Alex drawers in the middle and top it with an IKEA Ekbacken countertop and secure it with L brackets to the wall. Number 8. A desk and TV stand combo. One weekend, Anne Louise Marquis' boyfriend made for her Brooklyn apartment this fantastic wooden bookcase slash desk combo he had designed himself. Although it's not an easy undertaking, the finished product provides a workplace and a place to simultaneously store television and show off some books. Number 7. An adjustable art desk with a French cleat wall mount. You can make this workstation to work on your artwork. It can be used as a standing or sitting desk and laid flat or tilted. The fundamental design is based on Nathan Frey's Frey Desk, duplicated and altered. The materials cost between $160 and $180. A circular saw, jigsaw, corded and battery drills, an orbital sander, a Craig pocket jig, screwdrivers, a carpenter square, a ruler and clamps are required. First, make a blender model of the desk to experiment with the design. Your main material is a 4 by 8 foot, 3 quarter inch thick plywood sheet. Then, have the sheet cut into three main pieces at lows. Make the smaller cuts at home with a jig and circular saw. Number 6. A Cozy Workspace Idea Sarah's wall-mounted workstation features a sconce light, ladder bookcase, and Eiffel chair for a cohesive look. With the design, you can find a working space with more and more stuff on the office wall. Sarah found the perfect watercolor print at Target for only $14.99. It is 11 by 14 inches and is of high quality. There's a chair and a felt pin board, both from Target and a sconce from Ikea for $19.99. To copy the cozy desk, you only need to mount a wooden board to the wall using L brackets. Related to the ladder, we present our relevant resources titled 12 Ladder Project Ideas Ideal for a Small Kitchen Owner, Bathroom and Bedroom. Inside the countdown, you'll be able to access new perspectives you can acquire to complete your brand new living room desk you made with your own hands. With that said, let's replenish our incomplete countdown with number five, the L-shaped desk. Construct the leg frames first. First, build the L-shaped desk's legs. Join the vertical and horizontal two by fours with a Craig jig and pocket hole screws. The L-shaped desk should have two legs. Add X and then trim. Install the X-shaped trim. 
Mark your assembled desk side to see where to cut the 1x2 for the X trim. Join the 1x2 bracing to the 2x4 square with brad nails and wood glue. The first 1x2 must be flush with the 2x4's leading edge. After finishing one L-shaped desk square, continue with the second. To finish, build X-shaped trimmed for both desk side frames and put together the desk's bottom. Number 4. A Wall Mounting DIY Floating Desk for the Laptop It's a simple cabinet with a hinge door and an opening for wires and storage beneath the screen. It has hinges down into shelves while the top wood slab holds the shelf open. It's suspended from wall studs with four long drywall screws like a kitchen cabinet. Author Joe put the outer layer on the right as shelf support and on the left for symmetry. The little blocks in the bottom corners show he was experimenting with securing the cabinet sides. After trim head screws failed to prevent cracking, he used blocks and then changed to an air nailer. Eventually, the glue and clamps did all the heavy lifting. Number 3. A simple yet functional computer desk idea The most difficult part of the project was locating the studs. A stud finder will not work if your house is made of cement board rather than traditional drywall. Studs are normally spaced 16 inches apart, or 24 inches in some houses, in the center, which means it is 16 inches from one stud to the next. Wall outlets are typically installed at the same time as studs in a newly constructed home. In most cases, studs are located on either side of an electrical outlet. Usually, the first stud is placed in a corner. Number 2. A DIY wooden desk for under $20 Here's the finished product. It measures 24 inches wide by 18 inches deep, large enough for a pupil to work at rather than the kitchen table. You need to use a 2x4x3 by by inch piece of sanded plywood to make the box. This size is widely available at retailers. Next, cut out two 18 by 24 inch pieces for the box's top and bottom. The dimensions of the sides are one 24 inch by 4 inch for the back and two 4 inch by 17 and a quarter inch for the sides. You then glue the sides and top and brad nail them. This step results in a box with one side open. To round off the edges, lightly sand them. Before we complete the countdown with our final choice of the current list, we'd like to inform you that if you need other improvement ideas, you have SimpHome Content Collections on your side. There, we cover other interesting topics such as garden, home improvement, finance, bathroom upgrade, bedroom update ideas, and many more. We'll see you there, and until we meet again sometime in the future, let's close our countdown with number one. The Kit Desk Idea from The Kilt in 2015, Kilts introduced the Kit Desk to serve home office needs for urban living. In these days of restricted living space, homeowners must be more selective while purchasing furniture. Kilt offers the Kit Workstation to address such limitations. The desk is fully equipped with remarkable versatility, suited for modern life, and every element of the desk may be effectively employed without wasting extra space. If you are a minimalist, the desk idea gives you a new perspective while adding elegance to your home decor. That's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching the video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Like the video if you believe it will motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly though, it's more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project. See you again soon!